Hello everyone. I just wanted to share a little piece of information today. Um, I do anything between say three and about 40 energy treatments every week, whether that is group distant healing or in-person treatments or individual treatments. Um, and because I do so many healings in the course of a week, I get to see various themes with people. And I've been doing this kind of energy work for nearly 18 years now. So over the course of these years, I've noticed themes cropping up and these themes will generally last for weeks, sometimes months, sometimes even a year. And the thing that I'm noticing a lot of at the moment is that people are needing cord cutting. Now, we, when we're born, we're born with an umbilical cord that exists between us and our mum. But in, as the course of, uh, over the course of our lives, we have these energy cords that exist between everyone that we're close to or even people that we don't like, right? So people that we spend a lot of time with generally. So these can be colleagues, friends, family, clients, partners. And these cords can be positive, negative. They can be mutually beneficial. They can be mutually draining. Um, or they can just be like one way traffic. So, you know, when your phone rings and you see the name on the phone and your heart just goes, Ugh, because, you know, whenever you pick up the phone to that person, you feel like you, you've just had the life sucked out of you. They call you to have a whinge and feel better and they always feel better and you always feel worse. And the reason for that is they are literally sucking the life out of you. Your life force energy is going to them from you through these energetic etheric cords. So what I'm seeing in people's energy fields at the moment is that they really need cause cutting uh, removal done. So by deleting the negative etheric cords that exist between you and the people that you're close to, and this doesn't disrupt the positive cords that exist between you, but it just deletes the negative etheric cords that exist between you and whoever. Um, by deleting those cords, you are keeping more of your energy for yourself which is really important because if you're having this lifeblood, the life force sucked out of you every day, you've got nothing left in the tank for yourself. So I remember the first time I, I did this visualization. So you can try this at home for yourself. Just close your eyes down and think about someone that you feel like you're being drained by at the moment and ask to see what the cords look like that exist between you and this person. Now, the first time I remember doing this, I was in a particularly toxic volatile negative relationship and um and i could see when i tuned into what these cords looked like i could see like a massive tree trunk coming out of my heart and also out of my lower back just going directly to him and um and just like all my life force was being drained towards him there was no mutual beneficial beneficial exchange of energy between us at all and interestingly, at the time, I'd also slipped two discs in my lower back. So I had a lot of lower back pain. So it was quite interesting that there were there was a massive tree trunk coming out of my my lower back towards him. So <laughs> you, you can ask to dissolve and delete and destroy and transmute these negative etheric cords. And when I did that during this particular vis visualization, I kind of got this image of, um, you know, like Eminem when he used to come out on stage with that mask on and a chainsaw. I imagine someone coming along with a chainsaw and just literally hacking away at this tree. Um, and re it took a while to get rid of these cords at the time. So you can do this for yourself at home. You can just ask for any negative etheric cords to be deleted, dissolved, destroyed and transmuted into positive energy and released from you. And then I like to flood any remaining areas that are affected by the removal of those cords with white plasma light. Now, white plasma light is a really purging frequency. It just kind of blasts out any negative energy from the areas that are left by those cords, because sometimes you can get holes and leaks and tears that are left by the cords that are removed. And then I like to flood it with rose gold love energy. And finally, I finish it off with uh, gold light to see and protect the work done so you can do this yourself I like to do it every night at bedtime just to kind of remove and release any cords that have kind of um, appeared over the course of the day because cords can and do reattach themselves especially if you're continually spending time with those people um, so it's a good practice to do every day if you feel like you want some help with that let me know drop me a message we'll book in a, either a distant healing I, I do this all around the world either a distant healing or an in-person healing you're welcome to come around for one of those as well it's just a very small part of the kind of healings that I do um, or the treatments that I do 
um, but it's a really important part of it to keep your energy for yourself and stop being drained by so many people. So if that appeals to you and you want to chat more, drop me a message. Lots of love, guys. Bye.